Now, if you're having connection issues between your Model 16 or other Tascam mixer and your Akai Force, it's because you've selected the wrong uh, bit depth and frequency in your Model 16, likely. So if you're seeing it on your screen, in your settings here, we'll go over each, but you're not getting sound out of here, you need to change to a new song and reboot everything, and then sound will come through with the settings of 44 and 24, or 44, 16, with 16 selected over here as well. Let's talk about why we should stay at 24. I've pulled open the manual here and typed in 44.1 up top because I don't have to include a K in the 48, for instance, to pull up all these instances of uh, the Forces hardware. So if you'll notice on page 324, it describes the audio or analog digital converters and the digital analog converters and then the DSP, Digital Signal Processing. Now, all of these are done at 32-bit. Um, the ADCs and the DACs run at 44.1. So the Akai Force is only recording at CD quality. It's not using any 48 uh, kilohertz as a base to use 96 as well for recording in itself. Now, uh, when I pull up the manual for the Model 16, and also connect it to uh, a new track using 40, uh, 48 kilohertz, the, uh, the force will not connect to it. So we have to be in 44.1, and then you can choose whether you want to work in 24-bit or 16-bit. The only way to connect the uh, Model 16 is to select in here a new track and then declare it as a either a 16 or 24 bit at 44.1 uh, kilohertz. So let's look at the hardware now and we'll get those set up. For many of your screens, hit the menu button and preferences, and it should pop on the audio screen or the info screen. We want to do audio export. I've talked about hooking this up before, and you do so in audio device, and you select the task cam. And here's the recording bit depth. So you can only choose 24 and 16, and then your bounce depth, 24 and 16. So you can have this convert it, or you can output in 24 and have another program do your final conversions if you're outputting a CD. Uh, well, this is what we'll produce in because this is what some of the online sources are wanting now. And uh, and we'll deal with any dithering in our discussions in a little bit. So then we'll go to the task cam here, look at its screen. Here's the task cam model 16. And the menu is just really simple here with the jog wheel and the menu button. And then these four that change depending on where you're at. So to create this, we need to be in uh, 44 slash 24 or 16. And uh, to get that going, you need to go back to menu, hit song, and then the bottom changes. Um, and we hit new, and then we get the resolution. Now you have to create a new song to get the right resolution and then reboot everything or else the two will not work together. So it doesn't matter what you name it and you can create new names for it or new base names that don't go by the date. And it doesn't matter, I can exit out of here, but what I need to do is select with the knob, whether it's 44.1 and 16 or 24 bit. Now, if I'm doing other projects for other people or for working in Ableton Live, I could do a 48.24. Now, working in Ableton, you can reach the 48s and 96s and then use audio devices that also hit those levels. Um, now, you're going to have a bigger processing depth and then higher frequency. You can capture frequencies that go up and down in, uh, say, a guitar's filter effect, and it'll detect vibrations in the string that aren't audible or detectable at the lower bit rates and uh, sample rates. So we're going to want to record in as high as possible for any vocal and bass line sampling, guitars, especially with that high frequency. They really live in that zone. So um, then you do your post-processing after all your DSPs have had this really high quality signal to process to give you your rich output. So we'll leave this 
in 44.1 and 16.24 for the force in Ableton Live, I would probably work in the 48 uh, kilohertz with 24 bit. So this creates a, a split in my music if I want to use both systems that if I'm able to output a higher quality sample rate to an output source, then that's going to be from Ableton Live. And so, you know, this is a another one of those frustrating things, in my opinion, with the force, is that it's limited to 44.1. If that was able to function at 48, then just different things are possible. This is the one thing that you have to set and determine in your projects before you begin. So we don't want to be loading in 48 kilohertz samples. It was best explained that we want to stay in 24 because the ADC, DAC, and signal processing is in 32, which is kind of like a 24 with a moving floating ruler, they've called it. And it's a confusing fun read. But because we're already going there for anything coming in, we want to stay in as high a bitrate as possible so we're not clipping out from this down to 16 and then trying to move it back up anytime signals are processed, we're only going to remain with that 16-bit signal and uh, thus less data to work with. So modern computers, file sizes, that uh, shouldn't be an issue, especially with the size of hard drive you have in there. So I wanted to get back to the other topic. Okay, Ableton Live, this is 10, not 11, so information really shouldn't have changed much. Go to your second tab for audio and you can choose 44.1 or 48. And then down to record, warp, and launch. And you can select from the bit depths to record by. And then I'm assuming in your bounce and export you can choose your bit depth for export. So um, this is for the inputs and then it's going to do everything at 32, I'm assuming, inside, and then you choose your export options later on. So um, we can record in 32 if we'd like, and then there's a selection for wave there. Um, more on the subject as we go along, but as we move forward with these pieces of gear, it's going to be 44.1 and 24-bit. Uh, so um, if everything worked out good, hopefully you got your system set up, understood a little bit more, I'll post some links with the uh, other information that I read, the articles. So please check out this video here, subscribe to my channel here, I mean subscribe here, and this is a link to the channel. Appreciate y'all. For January, you're out.